The semiconductor industry is notoriously volatile with cyclical swings and rapid technological change. So how would an industry player, especially one that had been in the industry for years and makes the machines that makes the chips, stay competitive in this environment? Well, that's the question I put to Friedrich Schneider Monnery. He is the executive vice president and COO of ASML. Friedrich, sustainability is a big part of your website, and in it you focus heavily on safety and environmental performance. Why is that? In fact, we focus in uh, four areas. Our product, our production system, our supplier, and uh, a cultural approach. And in each of these areas, we focus on safety, safety first for our people, which makes, of course, sense, environmental performance, and people development. Now, why is this important for us? Uh, we are in the business, our major customer, name is Intel, Samsung, Toshiba, names that you, you, you may know. Uh, they are relying on ASML to be able to provide to them the machines that will allow themselves to produce the electronic chips in a uh, better way, more cost effective, more efficient. So they are looking at ASML on the perspective of a long-term supplier able, able to be there in a sustainable manner over, uh, over the years. How much progress are you making now? So we set ourselves early 2010 some extremely uh, stringent targets. If you look at really what sustainability means for the first, uh, the first part of it, which is environment, energy consumption, uh, we set ourselves a target to reduce by 50% the CO2 footprint of ASML in five years, from 2010 to 2015. And to be more, even more uh, stringent, we said we will match this target whatever the size of the company in 2015. We are on track. 2011 is almost closed. We will close uh, the figures in, in two months now. We will, in 2011, beat our first milestone, which was to reduce by 15%. Most of your sales is in the photolithography chip-making business. Is this not a bit risky? Do you have plans to expand into other industries, say uh, solar panels or solar power? It's true that we are in the in in mono business, but I must say this has been a reason of the success of ASML, because this has allowed us to focus all our energy, our resources on what makes it extremely important uh, to succeed, which is R&D, technology, organization of the people to generate uh, creativity. So the question is not so much whether it is risky or not. The question is how do we deal with, with the risk? Uh, how do we deal in a volatile environment, spending extremely, extreme amount of money on R&D and still being in the business which we can afford and in which uh, we can deliver the profitability. So we do that uh, by several means. Let me focus on two of them. Uh, we buy 85% of what we produce, which means that we have built an industrial network of partners, partners in research and development, universities, technical labs, partnership with our customers, and even more important, partnership with our suppliers to spread the risk and a large number uh, of, of people. The second thing is that carrying, investing in new technologies is the certainty that a new machine which will deliver new chips, that will deliver maybe a new mobile for you, a new PC that you will buy, will generate the future growth. So being focused, investing in R&D is also a recipe to make sure that the business as a continuity in a couple of years. You invested heavily in new equipment and personnel in 2010. Are you not getting ahead of yourself with uh, too much production? It's true that we build up uh, tremendously. We were at uh, 1.6 billion euro sales in 2008. We have just published our Q3 result and we guide for 2011 5.5 billion euros revenue, which is even more than triple in, uh, in a couple of years. We have uh, put on board more than 2,500 people. So it's absolutely true that we have uh, a growth significantly. Now this, we did it to, grow up, to grasp 
the market opportunities that offered us this uh, coming back in the semicom industry. We do not see that uh, as a risk because we are committed to two major uh, ideas with our suppliers, with our customers. ASML enjoy 80% market share, which means that we are absolutely committed to deliver to our, our customers whatever they ask us to deliver in terms of capacity. And we have decided to adjust our capacity to these very uh, specific uh, positions. Second, we are committing to carry on putting on the market new machines, new development, the one that will allow the customer to produce the new chips of the new mobile or TV or PC of tomorrow. This new machine happens to be bigger than the previous one and requires by itself some investment just to be produced. So we did it. We did it in 2010, which happened in 2011, which happened to be two good years. But clearly, we build for the future. Your profits in 2010 were nearly 2 billion euros. Now, that's nearly five times higher than the profits in 2009. Uh, can you keep the momentum? Yes, sure, we will. Uh, 2011, as I just said, we guided the 5.5 billion euro sales. Uh, it will be the best ever year of uh, ASML in terms of profitability. A little too early to disclose the figures as we are going to close the books in a couple of weeks, but definitely it will be a better year than 2010 even. Where is most of this uh, demand coming from geographically? Our demand is coming, in geogra geographically speaking, from uh, uh, 70% in Asia, uh, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Singapore, 70% of our uh, productions. And the rest is split between North America and uh, Germany and France. It's coming from all the market segments of the semicom industry, uh, mainly logic, uh, and mainly what we call uh, NAND, which are device, memory device, that are going into the tablets, into the mobile phone, into these fantastic success, for example, which is iPad. How much manufacturing production are you shipping abroad now? So ASML has uh, one uh, uh, headquarters uh, and one big site, which is in the Netherlands. And in this site, we assembly 100% of our machines. We have a manufacturing site in uh, Connecticut, in uh, north to New York, where we have here about 400 employees which produce modules that are shipped to the Netherlands and that are integrated in our machine in the Netherlands. How do you see demand for memory chips, say, in five years' time? You know, the semicom industry is growing more than the normal uh, uh, GDP growth uh, for very good reasons. Uh, in some areas of the world, people spend today only 20 euros of electronics per year when in the most advanced country they spend 300 euros. And these people legitimately uh, uh, will want to, 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 to buy more electronic devices, whether phone, more TV, cars, whatever it is. So there is a very strong driver of, of the growth. And there is a second driver, which is the technology uh, push that we are putting on the market. When we produce a new machine that allows a new ship, it will Uh, allows our customers, uh, Samsung, Toshiba, Apple, uh, to uh, design and put on the market the new uh, PCs, TVs, or cameras of tomorrow. So this uh, second driver is also extremely strong. We had a brilliant perspective for the next decades. Mr. Friedrich Schneider Maunery of ASML, we thank you very much for joining us on NC of Knowledge. <laughs> thank you very much.